Hi everybody, it's me again. Now, if you didn't see our little intro video earlier, my name is Chloe and I work for Radnorshire Wildlife Trust. And today is the official launch date of our exciting new project, Stand for Nature Wales. Now, this is a youth-led project for aimed at ages 9 to 24. So if you're in that age bracket and you live in the Radnorshire area, then please get in contact with us. If not, this project is being done on a wider scale throughout Wales, so please check out the Wildlife Trust Wales website and see what's going on with the project. Now today, to celebrate the launch day, I'm going to do a little activity with you. I'm going to make a simple bug hotel. Now you can make some really fancy ones at home, you can use like bricks and make these huge ones, but I'm going to do a really easy one where you can just recycle a plastic bottle and you can do it at home within 10 minutes. So this is a great activity to do in your garden or like me, I've just come out to the little local woods nearby. So there's lots of materials around to collect that bugs love. So all I've had to bring with me today is a plastic bottle. Now, obviously it's great if rather than buying one for the sake of it, you can recycle something from home. So, you know, if you haven't got a plastic bottle, maybe you have a plastic cup or something like that, like anything, try and be inventive and use something at home that you can upcycle. I've also brought out with me some string, some scissors. Now, these were the only ones I had with me today, but please try and use some craft smaller ones if possible and make sure you carry these around very carefully. Um, you may need some adult supervision to help with scissors as well. Um, I've brought a pen with me and I brought a little bag to collect my goodies in, okay? So as I've been walking to this little spot, I've actually already started collecting. So I've been collecting sticks, dead leaves, dried grass, bits of moss, all these sorts of materials from the floor. And like I said, you can do this in your garden, so just use what's available. Insects love all kinds of different materials. Now, obviously, don't go picking fresh stuff off of the bushes and things. If you can find dead material on the floor, that's great. Obviously, though, dead material and logs and things are actually already uh, homes for insects, so do just turn over things that you're picking up and check if there's anything living there and don't just wipe out a whole area taking loads from, of material from that place, okay? So, this is actually a perfect activity today because it's actually um, outdoor learning week in Wales as well this week and the Wildlife Trust are focusing on marvellous mini beasts. So every day we've been focusing on a different mini beast at a different branch of Wildlife Trust. So if you want to actually go out and do some mini beast spotting and identifying and some other fun activities, then check out any of the Wildlife Trust pages in Wales to see what's been happening. Right, let's get started. So step one, you don't need the top of the cap, but please do just make sure you take it home with you and not leave it out. And remember, you can use those sort of materials for other crafts as well, like bottle cap art um, and things like that. So what we're going to do firstly is very carefully, and like I said, you might need some adults to help with this, is cut the top of your bottle off. So you may need to sort of squeeze it so it's easier to cut across. Okay, like so. And again, remember to take your materials home with you, don't leave them littering. Then we're going to do the same with the end as well. So again, it might be a bit easier if you squish it together. And carefully. Cut the end off. Like so. So you should just have a tube then, like this. Now the next thing, in theory, which should be easy, is we're going to poke a hole through each side so you can try and use the pen for this hopefully it'll work if not i would try and use the scissors but again you really might need help with that you don't want to cause an injury Ooh. i don't know if any of you just saw that but my pen has just popped apart so we won't be using that hopefully we haven't left any of it on the floor i will have a check afterwards there we go so yeah i'm going to use the scissors instead I'm going to poke a hole through one side and then do the same on the other side. This is a task that you definitely need help with. See, even I'm struggling. There we go. So, two holes. It doesn't matter if they're neat or not, really, as long as they are on one side and the other. Now, I need my string. So I'm going to carefully thread this through. Just be careful in case any of the edges on the plastic might be a little bit sharp now as well. 
Okay, then what I'm going to do once I thread the string through both sides is find a little twig, so one that hopefully isn't going to break. Yeah, and I'm going to tie that to one side just to keep it from coming back through on the other end. Keep the whole thing together. So I'm going to do a little double knot on that. Okay, so once your stick, stick is securely attached, like so, just to stop the string coming through, see? Then you can, well, you can cut this length however long you really want it, really. So you could just hide your stick in set hotel, um, sorry, your bug hotel in like a little corner next to your shed. You can hang it up from a tree, so that's why it's great to attach this string. So I'm just going to cut it like so and put another little knot on the on this end just so later on I can make a loop or just tie it around a branch in my garden for the bugs. Now next step is just to fill it up with lots of materials that the insects like so I've got bits of bark, little twigs, lots of nice bits of moss as well so yeah just fill it up this is the fun bit Like I said, you can make big insect hotels with like bricks, uh, flower pots, loads of stuff. So it's really nice just to try and have an experiment with different materials you've got in your garden. But this is just a nice, easy one to make with sort of no planning of materials beforehand. This is the stuff I was hoping you might have just lying around at home. So lots of moss. And what can be fun when you're out actually collecting these materials is you can take some spotter sheets, which they're all downloadable from the Wildlife Trust websites. You can identify the different types of trees or leaves you're looking at. You can identify the bees, butterflies, bugs. So you can sort of turn it into a little challenge day and not just collecting the materials, you can actually go out and see what you're looking at in your local area as well, which is always really nice. Now, obviously the Stand for Nature Wales project is all about young people taking a stand against climate change and standing up for their local nature. So this little thing that we're doing right now is actually pretty cool because insects are really good for the climate in lots of different ways. So some insects pollinate our flowers, some of them make the soil really good quality and obviously there's the obvious as well that other animals like to eat insects too. So the insects support our food chain with other animals like birds, um, like things like badgers and things. So, yeah. Right, so I filled this up a little bit more. I don't know how well you can see that. Literally just fill it up with sticks and moss. Don't completely compact it so there's no room for the insects to move around, obviously. But there should be lots of nice space for different insects to go in there. And yeah, it is as easy as that. A little mini insect hotel that you can hang up at home in your garden whoop, um, or from your shed and then yeah keep an eye out and see what kind of insects you find. Now the last thing I want to show you before I go there is actually a log here so I think there's going to be lots of stuff under here so I'm going to have a quick look. So I can see right here um, a slug Oh, I saw, oh, there's a little wood louse there. So yeah, just be mindful that you can be searching for bugs everywhere you go, but just carefully put the logs and things back so that you leave the bugs undisturbed. Brilliant. So it's been lovely to see you guys again. And like I said, sign up or just get some information about our new exciting project, Stand for Nature Wales. Check out all the activity on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And yeah, if you're interested, then you can make a change. You can stand up for nature and stand up for your climate as well. So bye, guys.